what is up? It's Lamonti coming to you with another my NBA 2K16 video. Gonna be jumping in to Lamonti actually for this flash road to the championship that's going on. Um, you know, I definitely don't need a point guard, so I'm not really trying for the card or anything. I am just gonna be playing it simply for the picks. And just the easy wins because I haven't been playing, but I do have the domination goal. So every single game I play will be a sweep. So it'll just help with the goal uh, that I'm slowly, slowly, slowly getting. Um, you know, I did the math and it takes 595 points to win the art or to beat the final card of the road to the championship. Um, hold on. So, with that being said, that means if you plus 14 it every single game, that takes almost 11 hours. It would take 10 hours and 45 minutes. And they only give us 10 hours for it. But, when you think about the fact that you start with a full set of game nights, so they give us an hour and 15 minutes, meaning that you can beat it with 30 minutes to spare without spending money if you don't miss a single game night and hot streak the entire time. Now, that is pretty ridiculous if you ask me for a normal playoff card. Uh, you know, I was thinking it was going to take way, way, way less than that. But it will take 43 games at plus 14. Well, technically it would take 42 and a half games at plus 14. So if you get streaks for 42 games, then you don't need to streak the last game. But with that, but still that would take 43 games to beat this flash road to the championship for a normal playoff card. I mean, yes, it's a foil, but it's still a normal card. And, you know, I just got to point out the fact that the last flash road of the championship was a point guard. This one's a point guard. Yet, we haven't had an event point guard. I mean, it just feels like Cat Daddy is just trying to troll us the best they can with the rewards that they're giving out. I mean, the Flash Road RCs have been team versus team, with the real RCs being, you know, person versus person, back-to-back -back centers. And now, two Flash Road of the Championships have both been point guards, while, you know, the first... Rival road to the championship was all Kobe, and then we had ending with Scottie Pippen with the last one, so a shooting guard and a small forward. It just feels like they're kind of teasing with us, you know, and I feel like they made this one way, way, way harder than it needed to be. Like, just for a foil Kyle Lowry, it's pretty ridiculous that you would need to spend all, to use all hot streaks. Um, to get the hot streaks needed, uh, hold on, let me see how much it would cost. So, 42, you wouldn't need to buy the, you wouldn't spend to buy 24k, because that's 75, so that'd be way too many. So, you would buy a bunch of 4s, 4k ones, 4k gets you 12, so I would say you would buy it three times, and then hope to pull six from the draft board. So I guess when you think about that, it's only 12K, which isn't bad really. But at the same time, knowing the cat daddy cheese that happens to me, my app crashes all the time during Road to the Championship games. I mean, not all the time, but it'll crash at least one or two times during Road to the Championship, like a normal one. So if that happens, I mean, you're basically out of luck. Uh, and by that, I mean you would have to pay to buy a normal playoff card. And at that point, if you're buying game nights for this Road to the Championship, you know, I just think that's uh, misguided. Uh, I just think it's pointless to be spending actual money for this flash road of the championship. I mean, if the rewards were better, I would understand it. But at this point, you know, if you're doing anything other than just hot streaking to get it, I think it's a little ridiculous. So basically, you'd have to spend 12K, not miss an entire game night, 
And because it's starting, at, well, it started at 3 p.m., so that's not terrible. I mean, it'll end at, um, what, 1 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, so that's not bad. It wouldn't be difficult to stay up the entire time and not miss a game night checking in every hour. So, I mean, I guess it's not that unreasonable, but to me, it's just the fact that Cat Daddy glitches out and the game will crash and you'll lose a game night every now and then makes it so risky that you can only miss out on two game nights the entire time. Uh... Because you just have 30 minutes to spare. So, I mean, it's just... Yeah, it's risky, I guess. And, I don't know. I'm just contemplating whether it's worth it for anybody at this point. Just with the reward being what it is, uh, I feel like they just need to up the reward, I guess. Which, I mean, they're not going to do. They've made it clear that the top reward for a Flash event's going to be a normal playoff card. Um... I don't know. They could make it a better card, though. Like, the difference between the best uh, playoff card, which is Curry by base stats. Like, based on stats, Curry is the best playoff card. Um, He is so much better than, you know, uh, the worst one, which I don't know who the worst one is. It's not Steven Adams, but it's close to Steven Adams. I can't remember the list. It was a long time ago, but I know Steven Adams is one of the worst. I know Lin Sanity is actually one of the worst, and he was the prize of the first Flash Road to the Championship. So the difference in those is dramatic because uh, the playoff Curry actually compares to, I think, a Hall of Fame card. I might be wrong about that, but I'm pretty sure the stats are really close to being equal, if not equal, to um, a Hall of Fame card. Uh, it might actually be a little bit better than some Hall of Fame cards or All-Star cards, you know, because those are equal. It goes uh, BTC playoff, then uh, event playoff. It is back to Road to the Championship being better than RC. Then Throwback Thursday is better than Rookie Star, but that is the next tier, so... Um, Throwback Thursday, Rookie Star, and then you got Record Setters. This is all playoff. Then you have Record Setters. Then you have Hall of Fame and All-Star. Are I'm pretty sure they're tied. If one is better, it is Hall of Fame by a, like the tiniest of margins. But, uh, oh, pull the star. Hey, that's the best pull I've ever had in a video. Let's get it. Uh, Mike Conley, I mean, that's a terrible pull for the contest, but... At least I pulled a star. Let's get it. Defense spec. Uh, second best spec, it looks like, behind playmaking. So, happy about that. Finally got a decent pull in a, in a video. That's pretty crazy. But, um, so yeah, that's the tier of the cards. So then you have regular playoff. Well, I guess you have foil playoff and then regular playoff. Then you have the, oh, well, actually before regular playoff, playoff before actually any of that it goes uh btc from uh the playoff btc from this month then it goes i think event is better uh so road to the championship and then rc then it might be the star btc of last month the yao boogie and wall uh i'm pretty sure uh i'll check after this after this game because I know people that have him. Um, I'm not entirely sure where those come into play. But without those in play, it was the rankings that I said for playoff cards alone. But the star BTC of last month were insanely jacked up to mirror a playoff card. So I know they do come in, in somewhere on the list. Um, not exactly 100% sure where. Uh, I do have a Throwback Thursday, so I can compare it to that, and I obviously have events, so I can compare and find out. Uh, it'll just take a second after this video is over. Or, not the video, but after this game is over. Maybe I'll get insanely lucky and pull a Diddy and get some more pulls, uh, which was just insane last night. I don't know if you watch his stream, but he changed hats and then got uh, two wild cards in three games. And then he pulled something else. Oh, he uh, he opened a rookie 
pack and pulled D Rose. So his luck was just insane for about a 20 minute stretch. Uh, it was pretty awesome to watch, though. Can't lie. It was, it was pretty funny. People were freaking out. Uh, definitely going to have to go find out where he lives and steal his hat real quick before I do anything else pack related. If I do anything else pack related, that is. Um, but okay. Like, oh, for the next BTC recipe I do, I'm definitely going to go steal his hat first. I am pulling a lot of hot streaks. That's like the fourth one I pulled. So that's good. That's a good sign for the people that did spend 12K or will spend 12K on hot streaks. That 12K will definitely be enough and you'll be able to get it. Um, I don't. Oh, well, let's just go. Well, uh, I don't know who has. I don't know if Austin's on my friends list. The, the random people on my friends list is pretty funny. Uh, I do not know who has it on my friends list. Uh, I can't believe Diddy's not on my friends list. Um, okay, okay, I know how to find it. I just need to go to team search real quick. Um... I know Austin has it. Might as well send him a friend invite too because, you know, I'm a dick and haven't already done it. But all right. Uh, so here is Boogie. It looks like 68. Okay, so it is below Throwback Thursday cards because he has that. And it's below, it looks like it's definitely below uh, Rookie Star cards. Um, he has a record setter. Okay, so it, a record setter is actually better. Um... Let's see, all-star card. Okay, it's really close to an all-star card. So it looks like the BTC of last month are basically an all-star Hall of Fame card tier. So those three are together. So it goes uh, playoff BTC from this month, uh, event Road to the Championship, event RC, Throwback Thursday, Rookie Star, Record Setter, and then... BTC star from last month, Hall of Fame, and All-Star all equal than a normal playoff card. So, when you think about that, the reward for this flash road to the championship is pretty ridiculous to take all that uh, effort just for that. I mean, it's only 12K, so it's not, like, that much money, but I don't know. I just feel like they should have given us... A little bit more time or a little bit less points. Just in case of air, like the game closing and you being out of control of it. Um, other than that, I'm just going to look at my season. I'm almost at the playoffs. Uh, as you can see, game 76 is almost over. I've been paying decent attention, but not full attention. Like, if we look at my schedule, uh, there'll be games that I lost. Like, to this dude right here, I was nowhere near charged. Um... This was a bot that beat me. Uh, as you can see, I do have a common in my lineup. Uh, I'll just show my lineup. I have two commons, and actually, because I'm using 10 playoff, three star event, and then two common cards. Just to, like, make my competition weaker. Uh, pretty, pretty, you know, low move to do, but decided to do it anyway. But, yeah, okay. So then I know I lose a group of games in a row. Uh, here's Mr. Nice beating me again. Again, I wasn't charged. Uh, he beat me by 10. But, you know, I don't know. It'll be interesting what'll happen in the playoffs when I'm actually paying attention. Here's Mr. Nice beating me again, this time by 1. Not charged again. Closer to being fully charged. Uh, I'm two games down on him, and he beats me by 1. So, you know, that's looking good for me in the playoffs. Here's this, here's this bot beating me again. So all my losses aren't when I'm charged, basically. Here's Chris. This is actually who I'm going to be playing in the semis, it looks like. He is the two seed. I am the three seed. So that matchup's actually more. Okay, so there's two in a row. This dude's team. Okay, so I mean, I had zero energy whatsoever. Yeah. I mean, okay, here's three more losses. So I lost five out of seven while I was sleeping. Um, I'm in this game. Okay, so Chris is coming up, so I'm actually gonna go ahead and charge up and just see what happens next game because, uh, like I said, the standings are season chat. Uh, 
The standings are him being the two seed and me being the three. We're pretty locked in. Well, I'm pretty locked in. It looks like Mr. Nice is going to get the one seed. He's been paying the most attention by far. So uh, I'll be facing Chris in the semis. His top ten is all I can look at. So he's got a record setter that he won from a season. And then, you know, all normals. The foil, Kobe. Foil, Hakeem. Foil, Grant. Foil, so he got to the, you know, almost to the end. Well, not almost to the end, but second to last card on the Pippen and the two spec on Kobe. Which, I mean, he's not bad. He finished the flash road to the championship. So that's basically my best competition, I think, because Mr. Nice doesn't have 10 playoff cards. I think he has eight. Yeah, he has eight. No event cards. Event playoff cards are a lot more rare. Um... A lot of people end up having the road to championship, but for now they're pretty rare. So that's helping me in this season. Uh, but that about does it. I just want to give a quick update on that. Uh, I was going to update what my team did last RC, but you know, there's hey, the team event page is looking so not broken. Oh wait, it's only showing one person for my entire team. Imagine that. Something's been broken for, uh, what, four months now, probably something crazy. But, you know, it doesn't cost Cat Daddy money, so it's not going to be fixed, I guess. Um, probably shouldn't say that, but, you know, it's just what it is. Uh, I was going to say something about it, but I think going into Rivals Clash would just cause drama. A lot of people calling out my team, but, you know, hey. We wanted to take Rivals Clash off. We did it. After Rivals Clash... And did uh, one team in particular started to try to get under our skin. It was pretty, pretty flattering. It was making us laugh with all the posts that you know we were being mentioned in and being like the uh, center of attention and trying to get notoriety is basically what I would say by using us by saying they beat us, which is you know relative considering we had. I think seven or eight people playing. Um, and then, you know, videos were being made by Will in particular, made a video saying our dynasty was over. But, you know, it's just, I don't know if it's worth it to say. I mean, I will point out that it is kind of funny that, all right, you know what? If, it, if it's still their tagline, I'm going to have to say something about it just because of what's happened. Um... Okay. Must be immortal. There it is. 12 of 15 members, first of all. Um, looking like the team is... I don't know why they have 12 members. People are in and out, I'm guessing. Uh, it is. It does still say destroying bots. Destroying RC since botters got banned. But the funny thing is... They've had four people get banned. So, they had four people get banned from last RC alone. Uh, you know, I don't need to say who, but it's pretty funny that you make that your tagline and call us out on Twitter. And then, you know, at minimum, four people on your team get banned. Uh, you know, I'm going to go back to it because, you know, seeing who's... I want to see who's off the team. Uh... It looks like the person that came in first in Rivals Clash is off the team, which means, you know, not... Uh, I won't say he's banned, but that's a pretty good indication that he is. Uh, and he came in first this Rivals Clash and sixth the last Rivals Clash by a wide margin. So, you know, if he is banned, that would make five of them banned after calling us out. It's just kind of funny. You know, I guess I'm calling them out now, but, you know... They kind of deserve it to call my team out for botting when, you know, we're not banned. And then at least for looking like five, probably more of them got banned. It's just ironic. I mean, you can say what you want, but, like, if you honestly think they're all getting banned in unjustly, uh, the, I just, I don't know what to tell you. I mean, the 
if you believe in that big of a coincidence over and over again, that's on you, and feel free to do it, but, I mean, it's just pretty ridiculous. Uh, so all I'm saying is, if you're going to call out a team, be sure you're not doing what you're accusing the other team of doing, because, you know, that's basically what they did. Uh, I don't know, I shouldn't have done that. Didn't really want to, but I guess it had to be addressed. Didn't have to be, but... I mean, I kind of feel like it, uh, just because, I mean, we, uh, I'm in a Twitter chat and then somebody mentioned it and then like showed a picture of the tweet and I saw that they had at least <laughs> that the person said they had four members at least banned at the moment. And I just couldn't help but laugh. Like our whole team started laughing about it to be completely honest, because I mean, how do you call somebody out and then you get banned for doing what you're accusing a team of doing. It's just, like, it doesn't make sense. Putting on a front, they accuse us of doing, but, you know, I guess... I don't need to say it. When the shoe fits, you know, it's kind of just obvious. Uh, but, yeah, uh, I might have a game night. Has it been 15 minutes? It's almost been 15 minutes. Uh, I don't know what to do for 15 minutes. I guess I could look at... Blacktop. Blacktop's been messing up so bad for me. Um, yesterday I was playing a game. It kicked me out to the main screen in the middle of a round, uh, which is it's a little annoying. Um, you know, it took. I tried to join one today. It took over five minutes, and then I just quit because I didn't want to keep waiting. Uh, but on the on that note, I do want to say shout out to D Nice because we did end up in a BTC game together, and he did beat me. He hit eight every round, so shout out to him. He beat me by three points and tied it up one one. Uh, it was a good game. I thought I was gonna win last round, going into the last round, but uh, you know he had forty or something like that in the last round and beat me by three. It was unfortunate. I was looking forward to those 120 picks, but, you know, had to settle for 72. It was a pretty good game, though, so can't complain with that. Uh, and also on him, just going to throw this out there, he is starting to stream. So for anyone watching this that would be interested in that, I think his first stream, I don't think, his first stream is Wednesday. No idea what time, but be sure to follow him on Twitter. I'll put his description in the uh I'll put his link into the description. He is an immortal snake, but, you know, he's a good guy, and I have no problems with him. I only have problems with the people that, you know, try to start stuff with me or a teammate, stuff like that. But he's a good guy. Talk to him all the time in Diddy Stream. So, looking forward to that. I'll be there supporting somebody else in the community that's just trying to start, and I think it could be awesome. You know, uh, I, he had a beta stream I wasn't there for that I didn't see the notification or if I even got one but apparently he played eight games in every BTC game and had a perfect 404 even with the stream lagging him so I mean that's just insane so shout out to him uh but yeah uh after this I'm just gonna I was just trying to buy some time I guess that's that's a bad way to put it I mean shout out D nice is definitely necessary and giving him credit for beating me Definitely necessary, and you should watch a stream. It should be a lot of fun. Um, yeah, uh, but that about does it for this video. I have a lot of cool stuff coming out in the future. Um, you know, two good giveaways coming in the future. Uh, one, the recent, the, you know, the coming up fast. One is coming up fast. The other one is kind of dependent on other people. Depending on you all, to be honest. Uh, you know, it's going to happen when I hit a milestone. But I'm going to save that for another video. I will be making another video tomorrow when Road to the Championship, the real Road to the Championship, is announced. And I'll just show you my live reaction to that, like I've been trying to do. I'll try to stay off Twitter so I don't see who the cards are before the video happens or anything like that. But it should be cool. Uh, looking forward to that. Have an NHL video coming to, I guess, doing the same thing tomorrow. I guess I'll do it tomorrow. It'll probably come out the next day on Thursday about that Road to the Championship preview. Uh, but yeah, so it should be fun. 
Now, I hope you enjoyed the video. It went on way longer than I was originally intending, but it is what it is. Uh, I hope you like the video. Be sure to like it, uh, hopefully, and sub, and then follow me on Twitter, at LamontiYouTube. It'll be in the description, and I'll see you next time. Peace. <laughs>